Get ready. Get pen and paper. Let's get it. I go crazy. A lot of men think that, you know, you... Let's get 20 likes on this motherfucker. Random likes. Hey man, we got something a little different today. We trying to, you know, find out how to you know, feel me go crazy. Oh, um, if you're too young, you need to, you know, get off this right now, cause uh, it's about to get X-rated. <laughs> But uh, let's dive into it, man. Let's see what she talking about. What she what she gonna put us on to? Uh, let's see. What am I doing wrong? What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video that I know you guys are gonna enjoy. I'm wondering, she got have you found the G spot yet? Do you know how to stimulate it? So today I'm gonna give you four techniques to stimulate the G spot to make her go insane. She's gonna be like. Nobody has ever done this to me. Mm. I need him. I need him. Yes, you want her to be like that with you. I am telling you from experience and from what my girlfriends are talking about. about <laughs> okay. Most of you don't know where it's at. You don't know or you don't try to go find it. You, you don't. Every girl's is different. Explore. You don't do nothing. So today I'm going to tell you where that shit is and what you need to do once you find it. All right. So. Where is it? The G spot is connected to all the same nerves as the clitoris. Think about it as the backside of the clitoris. So you see the clit is in the front, the G spot is in the back. Knock, knock. So maybe you guys don't find it. Come on, baby. Just, just relax, just talk. You're moving too fast. Not no, you telling knock, knock jokes? Like, slow down, slow down, baby. Slow down, break it down to a sexy, not funny. Come on. It because the G spot only shows up when she's turned on. So I don't know what you guys be doing. I don't know if you don't mm. turn your bitch on, but that's the only way you're gonna find. <laughs> Why is she so? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she tough. <laughs> It. So don't go put your finger and be like, I don't find it. Yeah, you're not gonna find it because she's not warmed up yet. So you gotta make sure that you stimulate your girl by kissing her, having foreplay, role play. You know, role play is one of my favorites. So what are we playing today? Um, the firefighter. So the firefighter comes to my house and I'm like, uh, excuse me, there is a fire in my pussy. Can you um, can you help me with that? Yes, but yes. Anyway, so make sure. That your girl is turned on. on you gotta do it, your part if you want that little button. Actually, it's a little big button to come down and show itself. So once you think that she might be ready, face her so she can be standing or laying down. So put two fingers or these two, whichever is more comfortable for you, and you put them inside like this, deep about two to three inches, not further. Cause you're gonna miss it so just like the two nickels the first two nickels right here it's not that deep then you make a come here motion like this come here little baby come here so you do that towards the front of her body you will start feeling a spongy nerve that feels very unique it's not like the rest of her vagina so once you find it and you feel it it's time for you to stimulate it and if you know what you're doing this is how you're gonna give her a squirting <laughs> orgasm but before i tell you about those four techniques i want to talk to you about oh hold on hold on she might be making some sense because i ain't never you feel me i ain't never did that little hook right there you feel me and i can't do it with what's the name you feel me i can't hook me. my shit is an arrow you feel me now we're back with the four techniques to stimulate that G spot properly. So number one, the windshield wipers. So for this one, you, you don't use the two. You only use one finger, whichever finger you want, and you just go like a windshield wipers. 
just one back and forth back and forth mm -hmm. on the little nub on the g-spot you gotta do it in a tender slow and sensual way number two apply pressure and hold still so there is power in stillness i am telling you guys it will drive her crazy a lot of men think that you know you gotta move at all time do a bunch of shit no sometimes like you you do something and then you hold she's gonna be like what are you doing but not in a bad way kind of like daddy keep going no we were waiting so then she's just like anticipating for more and more and then you go back but trust me stillness is awesome it creates sensation so it's satisfying and it's all start giving away my tricks i'll be doing that i gotta uh stop now i'll be like okay take that thing out kind of like tap it like that back in out you feel me like i'll be mixing that yeah i'm like daddy can you keep going keep going and you're like nope i'm in control i'm waiting you wait too and then you go back she's gonna lose her shit. number three palpate you can use one or two fingers for this one so you're gonna palpate against her g-spot so you gently tap gently so you start gentle and then you go firmer and firmer and firmer and i'm telling you you're not gonna hurt her because the more uh yeah, yeah i'm doing that hook i'm doing that captain hook come here <laughs> come here baby come here but uh i hope y'all taking notes man and uh let's get 20 likes on this motherfucker random likes but uh comment below man what video y'all want to see me do next um comment below if she accurate ladies let me know is she accurate fellas take notes and uh